Okay, hello my friends and how are you doing? And next I am planning to show you that how works this Toyota RAV4 2 liter gasoline engine or Toyota Camry 2.5 uh, sorry 2.4 liter gasoline engine and now I am I am telling this motor type what is AZ series like 1 AZ or 2 AZ FE model and this these engines they are VVTI engine and cubic sides are 2 liter or 2.4 liter and now I have a little bit adjusted my my this engine that we can see this in in this top position and normally this engine is in that position and now I am planning to tell you that how works this engines this drive belt tensioner what is in just in here okay but now I a little bit change that engine position because I have to use my force next okay and now this engine is in that position and really this tensioners location is that part and this is tensioner cylinder and normally in that area we have drive belt what goes in that direction and this part is the tensioner uh, this feel and then normally when we are planning to take that tensioner belt away or uh, if we are planning to install it back we need two tool sides and first tool size is this 19 millimeter one nine millimeter socket what which in that adjusting bolt what is in here and then normally we have to loosen also this 14 millimeter uh, this bolt and for that purpose I need one for one four millimeter wrench for which in this this bolt in here and normally we have to loosen that bolt before because then we have easier to compress that uh, this tensioner cylinder what is in here in 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 like compress in and this compression happens so that I first loosen that 14 millimeter socket and then I take this wrench what is one nine and there is normally very difficulties to install this this wrench in this position because there is not so, so much space and this bolt is like a little bit hidden but now I can show that there is really 19 millimeter socket in there aluminium bolt and now this my tool is in there and then when I start to compress my idea is to insert that cylinder in like smallest position and now when I start to press idea is that I move that my tool in down and then when the cylinder goes look that cylinder goes it it goes little by little I have to use quite much force and there's I can actually show that that how much I have to use normally I can use also in here longer this bar like in that one that it is easier to compress look this is my target area in here now I compress and then in little by little it takes like 10, 10 to 20 seconds this cylinder goes in smaller and now it's like off position and now we can take this drive belt away and then when we I release that my pipe then this cylinder automatically becomes on position and in same time it compress that drive belt and let's go to look closer that we can see that how this Toyota's this cylinder works because there is oil in inside or some high quality glass because it takes when I started my job look it it takes 10 to 20 seconds to compress it totally and constantly force and now I start one two 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen. Okay, now, now it's in off position. And now I release that and it goes automatically in this on position. Okay, that kind of interesting information. And there is really idea that when I I move that my tool, if I have long uh, short this bar, then the start is like easy in that part, but then this final part, this like final part is 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 difficult. And final step is then when we have this drive belt is on, it is good to tighten that bolt because this compression cylinder automatically adjusts that drive belt amount and final step is then fasten and tighten this locking bolt because otherwise this cylinder can pop up all time and this locks like this this is like locking situation okay good in that way excellent okay thank you